What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Pokemon video. In this video I'm going to show you all the mystery gifts you can still get in Pokemon Black and White. If you don't know how to get them, check my how to get all the mystery gifts in Pokemon Black and White video in which I give easy step by step instructions on how to do the process. The link to the video is in the description box down below. We'll be starting this video off with the secret egg. This secret egg can give you one of the three different level 1 Pokemon which are based on the Pokemon the main characters used in the Pokemon Black and White anime. These Pokemon are Silence Pansage, Ashes Pidov and Iris's Axew. This Pokemon can be shiny if you hatched it in a different game than the game it was received in. Then we have three different Pikachus. The first one is Pika Pika Carnival Pikachu. It's level 100 Pikachu holding a light ball that was distributed during the Pika Pika Carnival that was held in Singapore 2012. Then we have Summer 2012 Pikachu, again level 100 and holding a light ball. It was distributed in Japan Expo in France and on Pokemon Day in Italy and Germany. The third Pikachu is level 50 that knows the move Fly and is again holding the light ball. This was distributed during the 2012 World Championships. Next we have the summer 2011 Zoroark. This is a level 50 Zoroark that knew the move Snarl that at the time of the distribution was not knowable by any other Pokemon, it was exclusive to Zoroark, so that's pretty cool. It was distributed during 2011 in various different locations. Next one is level 50 Scrafty holding leftover. This was distributed at the 2011 World Championships. Then we have three Pokemon based on the 2011 Pokemon World Championship winners lineup. The first one is Abram's Cloister. This cloister is level 30, it's holding Choice Scarf and it's based on Abram Borov's Cloister. He won the 2011 Pokemon World Junior Championship with Cloister in his lineup. This cloister was distributed at the 2013 Winter Regional Championships in the USA. Then we have Web's Ludicolo. This Ludicolo is level 30, it's holding Citrus Berry and it's based on Taller Web's Ludicolo. Taller Web won the 2012 Pokemon World Senior Championship with Ludicolo. This Ludicolo was distributed at the 2013 Spring Regional Championships in the US and Canada. And then we have our first shiny Pokemon, Rissos Shiny Metacross. It's level 45, it's holding Lumberry and it's based on Ray Rizzo's Metacross. Ray Rizzo won the 2012 Pokemon World Masters Championship with Metacross. It was distributed at the 2013 Video Game Championships. Then we have another shiny, a level 5 shiny Larvitar holding Doppelberry. It was distributed in the national finals for the 2012 World Championships. This Smurkel is the 2013 World Championship level 50 Smurkel holding the silk scarf that was distributed at the event. Then we have Summer 2011 Caraplast and Shell Met. Both of them are level 50 and are holding a Pug Gem. They were distributed in 2011 in various locations. Next we have the Dutch Spring 2011 legendary Pokemon Reshiram and Zekrom. 
This mystery gift changes depending on your game and was distributed to the game they are not normally obtainable in. So if you have Pokemon Black, you get Checkrom, and if you have Pokemon White, you get Reshiram. They are both level 100, are holding Dragon Chem, and know their signature moves. So Reshiram knows Blue Flare and Fusion Flare, and Zegrom knows Bolt Strike and Fusion Bolt. These were distributed in Netherlands 2011. Then we have the summer 2013 Shiny Creation Trio. So that's Shiny Giratina, Shiny Dialka and Shiny Palkia. They are all level 100 and don't hold any items. They were distributed in various different locations. There are also two different Mewtwo's you can get. The first one is the 2012 First Anniversary Mewtwo. It's level 70 and it's holding the King's Rock. The second one is level 100 Mewtwo that is holding Gustav Berry. It was distributed for those who pre-ordered tickets for the Pokemon The Movie Genesect and The Legend Awakened in Japan. Then we have Winter 2011 Dark Rai. It's level 50 and it's holding Enigma Berry. It was used to market the newest Pokemon TCG expansion at the time, Dark Explorers. Then we have Spring 2013 Meloetta. It's level 50 and it's holding PP Max. If you take Meloetta to Pokemon Black and White 2, you can activate a secret event. I'll leave a link to the Meloetta secret event video down below if you want to check it out. And the next one is Summer 2012 Keldeo. It's level 15 and it's holding PP Max. If you take Keldeo to Pokemon Black and White 2, you can activate a secret event. I'll leave a link to the Keldeo secret event video down below if you want to check it out. The next Pokemon we have is the Movie 14 Victini. It's level 50 and it's holding Fire Gem. It also has its signature moves We Create and Searing Shot and Reshiram's and Checkrom's signature moves Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt. It was distributed to celebrate the release of the two movies Black Victini and Reshiram and White Victini and Zekrom. And finally we have the Liberty Pass. With this pass you could enter the secret Liberty Garden and catch level 15 Victini. If you want to know more about how to catch Victini or how the event goes, I'll leave a link to the video down below. And that's all the mystery gifts you can still get in Pokemon Black and White. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite of these mystery gifts and if you think I missed any. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.